Could you go through each of the documents on my individual drives and find out if somebody was using my social security or, or social security number? Yeah. Or driver's license to falsify any document? Mm-hmm. And for Brett Roberts that said I was crazy for doing what I was doing? Yeah. You took my sons right now. Now, you were crazy to uh, uh, prosecute me. All right. Without asking for any evidence. Who are you right now? Well, I was making videos on June 16th of 2017. Yeah. I was at the senior center until uh, 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, sending emails. Yes. And uh, none of those emails were sent to any of the people at, at Heidi Budnick's workplace. Yes. So if that fat cow got any false ID. Yes. Uh, false social security number. Yep. Welfare card or any other benefits in the name of my wife. Yes. I'm going to sue that county right now. For enabling the fraud, yes, mm -hmm. of Social Security fraud, mm -hmm. driver's license fraud, yes, and welfare fraud. Pooch! Now, as I said, that fat cow is not my wife. You know, you're coming to find out systems really going to get it today. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to want to reside with my sons, and I'd like to speak to Marilyn, mm -hmm. because I want to live with her. Yes, I want us to be a family where we decide to parent together. Mm -hmm. And I have no intention of wanting anything other than Marilyn to be the mother of my five sons. Yeah. There's nothing that I want from her other than her want to mother my five sons. I don't want anything more than that other than... <laughs> I just think that they need <laughs> a good mom that wants to care about them. <laughs> now, <laughs> I know this is difficult for a lot of people to thought. Mm -hmm. They thought I had some sort of manipulation involved. Yeah. <laughs> that I was going to <laughs> require some sort of volunteerism. No. <laughs> Not this guy. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm concerned about the parenting of my kids. And that's the whole reason I thought she would be a good mom. <laughs> Now, I was looking through the jury requirements, yes, and uh, there's some reasons why uh, presumptively invalid. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, I don't have a state-issued identification. Right. Because of the fraud of falsifying it. Yes, he does. Mm -mm. And I can't get a driver's license because of the persecution of your fraudulent disillusion of marriage. Right. And if I do apply for a driver's license so that I could participate in juries. Yes. Uh, there's a good probability that you're going to put me in jail for contempt of court for refusing to <clears throat> acknowledge the orders of the court known as the decree of dissolution of marriage, yeah. even though my wife didn't serve me. Oh, oh, oh. Now, let's say there's this presumptively. Yes. Mm -hmm. In juries of jury trials, there is some reasons why you cannot invalidate a possible juror. <laughs> Because historically, the following reasons for the preemptory challenges have been associated with improper discrimination. <laughs> in the jury selection in Washington State, the following are presumptively invalid reasons for preemptory challenge. Yes, having prior contact with law enforcement officers. <laughs> I've had some prior contact with law enforcement officers. Yes. During numerous arrests, yes, for the false allegation <laughs> of violating the restraint provisions <clears throat> of your fraudulent protection order. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, you would say that's not a valid reason for me to not be able to sit on a jury yeah. or expressing a distrust of law enforcement or a belief that law enforcement officers engage in racial profiling. <laughs> this says that any jury trial that I'm, I'm involved in, yes, or I could be a juror, <laughs> These are invalid reasons for the peremptory challenge of the juror not being qualified to sit on a jury. <clears throat> but for every time that I file for the persecution and asylum, yes, I'm going to sue every court of the United States of America for what is now known yes. as the valid reason <clears throat> for peremptory challenge. <clears throat> Now, I didn't lose my citizen. No, he didn't. In fact, I'll continue to have an address. But I'm going to want to know every juror. If he does, he needs to know that right now.